So today we're going to be opening up and replacing the battery on this Lenovo P51. So first of course make sure it's off. Shut down. Okay, I don't know why but this screen is like intermittent. Come on, turn off. All right, once you got it completely off, flip it over, remove the battery. All right, once you remove the battery, open it up. Make sure that there's no power, because some models, uh, especially these Lenovo ones, will have a second battery internally. This one doesn't, so it should be okay. So press and hold the power button for about 15 seconds. Drain any power. All right, and then we will pull the screen out. So to remove the screen, just go on the frame here, and you just pull the middle frame out, just like this. Okay, you also wanna kind of push the outer edges in towards the center. All right, the top clips are the most difficult, but you just pull on them, okay. Kind of want a twisting while push pulling with your index fingers like I'm doing here. Okay. Just like that. There we go. So take that out. Now I want to remove the are these screws holding it in place? Yeah. So remove the four screws holding it in place. So there's actually there's only two screws. Oh actually the four screws are on the side. Okay. So remove the two holding these metal tabs. And then the two on these side tabs. Okay. Just like that. Alright. Once you've got all four screws out, lift up the computer. Pull the screen forward by the metal tab. Okay, so just pull this tab forward. And lay the screen down. All right, you'll want to unhook the cable here so you have a little more slack to work with. Pull this cable out. Okay, flip up this tab and then wiggle this back. All right, so get the replacement screen. This, these tabs got bent a little bit in shipping so you have to bend them back. Be careful not to put too much pressure on the screen. It helps to um, use some pliers if they get bent like that. And then you can use that to help bend them properly. You can squeeze this way so that you're not putting all the stress on the frame itself. Okay, just like this. All right. Just bend back both tabs all completely flat. Right, make sure the upper tabs are flat as well. They all got bent, and that means they didn't pack it very well. Hopefully the screen is okay. Alright, once you get that, line up the connector, just like this. Make sure it's completely lined up, and then just pull it in place. Once you do that, pull down this metal bar, alright. And then once you get the metal bar over, just pull the tape. If you want, you can put some new tape because this tape is kind of old and it's not going to stick as well. Alright, so we'll grab some more tape. Don't need too much. Alright. If you want, you can make a little pull tab to make it easier to release later. So just fold a little piece of it over on itself so you have a little tab. And just tape this on. Like that. You can use that to kind of pull the connector and then tape down the whole thing. So here you can see now I made this little pull tab. So if I need, I can just peel it back up. Alright, so there we go. 
put this back in, make sure to get the cable back in the slot it was in, line it all up. the tabs are in place and then just put back the four screws and where you took them back out sorry it's not in view but all I'm doing is putting back the four screws just like that It's not lined up properly because of the bend, so I'll use this to kind of push it. Just like that. There we go. <clears throat> All right, so now we got everything in place. put the battery back in. We'll test it before we put the frame on. There we go. So it looks like it booted up just fine. The screen is okay. All right, entering the BIOS to make sure everything looks good. So here you can see everything's good. We can peel off this plastic protective sheet. All right. And then we put the frame back. So turn off the computer. On the bio screen, you can press and hold the power button. All right. Put the frame back in place. Push from the top layer first, okay, the outer edge, and then push down towards the center. Okay, just like this. Okay, usually the center part will clip itself. You just need to worry about pushing in the outer sides. Just like that. All right, there we go. And then you can go back around. Oh, sorry, you can go back around without the inner edge just to make sure everything's clipped in. I always like to put pressure on the back while I push on this so you don't flex the screen and then you can close it make sure gaps are all closed and there we go it's good to go so hopefully this video helped you if it did please like and subscribe because that'll help me thank you for watching um, if you wanted to do like the RAM or anything like that um, my customers waiting outside but I'll do this real quick So these screws, they actually hold themselves in place with washers. Okay, I'm not going to show the keyboard thing, but we'll show underneath this little cover. This design is very nice. It's easy to work on. This has a keyboard drain system, so if you spill liquid in the keyboard, just let it drain out. Don't flip it upside down. Alright, so now that we've got all the screws out, we'll just... Okay. Pull up the clips just like this. Be careful around here, it's kind of stuck. So, kind of just got to work it, looks like. Okay, there we go. I just pulled up from there. There we go. So, here underneath these plastic things are the RAM. I'm gonna get the dust out of here. Oh, that's pretty dusty. I'm gonna have to clean the whole thing out. All right, so there's no stick in that one. There's no stick in that one, huh? So all the sticks of RAM are actually on the underneath the keyboard, I believe, on this one. Um, this is DDR4 memory. Sorry, I blocked it, but it uses DDR4 memory. I'm not sure what type, so you will have to figure out how to remove the keyboard. But I'm not going to show that in this video. And then the SSD. Take out the one screw. 
Let's see if it comes out easily or if I'm gonna have to do a trick. If I'm gonna have to do a trick, I'm not gonna do it because, okay, I think it's on a tray here that we need to remove. So remove the silver screw and then we can pull this, yep. So it comes out like that. They covered this, so I don't know what kind of SSD this is. Hmm. Okay, does it come out like a slot? Okay, so the SSD comes out like a slot, it looks like, but it's very difficult to slide this thing. Okay, there you go. So it comes out like this, and it's stuck. Oh, that's weird, it's stuck in there. So I'm not too sure how to remove this, but this is a PCIe NVMe SSD. You might have to remove this heat sink and everything. So I'm gonna leave it in there because my customer doesn't need me to do that. I don't wanna mess around with stuff and end up breaking anything. So if you want, if you're upgrading yours, you can risk damaging it, but I don't want to risk damaging my customer's computer. So I'm just going to put it back together. So it has all this weird sliding mechanism. All of this slides in like that. And it just slides into the slot like that. And put this back. So hopefully this video was enough to at least get you started to figure it out. But um, yeah. All right, so that's pretty much all there is. When you put this cover back on, you put this down. So this was mostly a screen repair video. The RAM SSD upgrade thing, it's not that useful for you, but yeah. All right, so hopefully this video helped. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. It'll also help others find these videos and thank you for watching. Bye.